What's up, guys? Welcome back to Rockwin. In the last episode, we were here in this really weird world. And, uh... Is that a treasure? It's a treasure chest. I don't think we have the right tools to remove these rocks. No, we sure don't. So he's sleeping over here. This is such a weird, cool-looking little world we got here. Got this guy over here. So you took my berries, did you? No matter, they'll all end up in my belly one way or another. What does that mean you're gonna eat me? I mean, not that I object. There are no by orders of the chief, no one is allowed beyond this point. Wait, really? No one moves me. She says they're gonna move the sign. Oh my god. I'm here for your protection, you know. There are angry spirits beyond here. You think I'm standing around for my health? Oh, I didn't know. I'm really sorry. Apology accepted. Now get out of here before I change my mind. Well, wow, gracious goodness, let me tell you. That's wow, so weird, just totally. Definitely not in a hospital anymore, Toto. Worship Frankie's kitchen assistant is a great job, but he works us to the bone. We just snuck out here for a quick break. Chef Frankie's freaking out because it's our night's coming up and he has to make tons of food. But it always works out, so I don't know what he's so worried about. Mm hmm, I suppose. Where's Chef Frankie's assistant and works us to the bone? Snuck out here for a quick break. Hey, you guys are new. Are you visitors, or are you gonna live in the forest with us? Um, yes. <laughs> Star Night is coming up soon. The food there is so good. I believe it. Two rocks over here. I don't think we have the right tools to remove these rocks. Well, maybe we need to, uh... Put the... Rock in a better place. No, I'm sorry. I tried. You found 10G. Ooh! A step up from the usual folder findings. Alright, so... Hmm, hello. What are you looking at? It's cabbage, okay? Looks like you've never seen someone eat cabbage. It's cabbage, okay? Cabbage. Hmm. Cabbage. Sweet, sweet cabbage. I've never had sweet cabbage before. Every time my mom made it, it smelled absolutely repulsive. Got some more berries. Well, how many more of those we can find? Oh, wow. This, and you are Chef Panky. Did I talk to you in the last episode? I don't remember if I did. If you don't mind, I got a lot of food to prepare and not much time to do it. Wow, you two are tall. Guess you're not from around here, are ya? If you don't mind, I got a lot of food to prepare. Yeah, sure enough. I should let him leave, him leave him to it then. Look at the steam rising off those donuts. Can we just sleep in here? Sure smells good. I can smell it practically from here. Can I possibly hop down to that? No. I don't think so. I don't think so. Mm, 
Mm-hmm. Morty's out of the cave enters your own risk. Mm-hmm. Don't mind if I do. Hey, kid, wait up! Uma! I hope you know those caves you're about to go into are tapped and confusing. If you're not careful, you could end up getting lost. You'd better take this. Ah. Thank you, Uma. Okay. Let's see. I have a journal in here. Find more Zorda in the cave northwest of here. Alright, cool. Hi, Mom! <laughs> Hello, dear. How are you? So you want to go through this cave, eh? Yes, of course. Okay, I guess since you want to go so badly, I'll cave in and go with you. Get it? Because we're in a cave? And people cave in? Oh my god. Oh, that's so cute. Alright, let's take a look here and see. Okay. Upper level. Lower level. Okay. So it's ain't too bad. Cave bud. Whoa, are you really going in there? That place is weird. If you say so. It's mushrooms. It's kind of nice and creepy in here. Dude, blacksmith. What are you two doing in here? I'm sorry, is this area off limits? We were just looking for more Zorda. Did we get the wrong cave? No, this is more Zorda's cave. But you know it isn't safe right now, don't you? The envoy are here. The envoy? You know, spirits that are between this realm and another. Most of them are harmless. They're just hanging around or passing through. But lately, many of them have become corrupted with bad energy. They're so blinded by things like fear and hatred that they aren't themselves anymore. I was in here collecting supplies last week, and a bunch of them stole my tools. I haven't been able to work at all since then. I'm so sorry to hear that. Yeah, at least I made it out alive. What if we were just really careful? Are you crazy? Didn't you hear what I just said? Yeah, but I really need to talk to Morty Zorda. Plus, we're a lot bigger than you are. Oh my gosh. What is it? I also got up and thought I didn't even realize you were like 10 feet tall. We're not 10 feet tall. Close enough. What the heck are you anyway? We're humans. Interesting. Okay, well, best of luck to you. One problem though. I know you're trying to reach Morizona, but as you can see, the entrance to his grove has been blocked off by overgrown bamboo. I can cut that down if you get my tools back. The spirits put them in that box over there. Everything I need to do my job is in that box. Including my axe. We'll do whatever it takes to help you out. You can start by draining this lake. There are two switches in this cave that control the flow of water. Find them both, and we're good to go. Pretty straightforward, right? I guess. 
Oh. <laughs> Hmm. Very well. We have ourselves a goal. Should probably move my mouse off the screen here. Duh! Wow, look at this dude. Lethargio Gollum. Oh, here we go. This is totally me right here. Um. What's the matter? I'm so hungry. So hungry that him Poor thing. I'm sure we have some extra food that we can give you. No, I can't eat horse food. Horse food? I need sea lion apples only. From sea lion catering. I have some of those, I think. Yeah. I got some seal of trees, like from bushes, but. I think now I got some easy to get some time to just sit around waiting for someone else to feed him. Yeah, okay. Eastern water flow switch entrance above. Hmm, if only the purple creature were blocking the entrance. Too bad. Heads or tails of it. Do you think I'm beautiful? I heard that you have happy feet. You can become more beautiful. Is this true? I don't think I've heard that saying before. Oh, it must be a tree thing then. I think you have very beautiful green leaves. Thank you. You see, I have three feet. They probably popped up around here somewhere. But they're so sad right now. How can I be beautiful if my feet are so sad? One is hungry for dirt, one is thirsty for water, and one really needs some sunlight. Can you please help them? I suppose I could. They're just sticking up from the ground somewhere. Like he's probably talking about roots, right? Something like that. Hey, is this a wide toe? Friendly foot. Hey, do you have any water? Let me check real quick. Oh well, yes, we do have an extra bottle of water here. Would you like it? Oh, that's kind of you, but when I say water, I mean like a lot of water. Like a pond's worth. I drink a lot. I don't think we can carry that much water. I understand. If you happen to come across any, though. Maybe if we flip a certain switch. Two birds with one stone. But the door is locked. Oh dear. Well, let's see here. So I'm telling you, you can maybe climb up those later. I don't know. But... Uh -huh. Yo, Sunflower, I see you over there. Sunflower. So what about down here? Oh boy. Some tells me I can't just up and take this. It's locked. Nope. Let's have to do them in a 
are in order. Are you able? What are you saying down there? <gasps> Spirits. Wait a minute. Have you ever lost something that was really important to you? I was supposed to meet my friend, but I can't remember where we were going to meet. I have to find her before it's too late. I have to. I've had dreams like that before. I have this really catchy song stuck in my head. It's by this budding indie rap artist named Lil Buds. He is a sky bud, so he looks like me. But he lives in the sky. It's so good. What's the song about? Oh, it's so deep. It's about having to work every day serving tea to rich buds. Having a high strong boss who wears powdered white wigs. Wanting to make it as a hip hop artist. It really speaks to me. It's so good. Hmm. So, <laughs> love how he always ends off with it's so good. Have you ever had a best friend? My best friend and I would go everywhere together. We had the best adventures. Both of us were kind of poor. It was sad because sometimes she didn't even have any food. But I always shared my lunch with her because that's what best friends do. Oh, well, that's sweet. Glow shroom? Oh, I'm a glow shroom. I'm supposed to glow big and bright. But lately, having trouble holding my charges. It's probably all that stress from work. Just gotta take it easy. Make sure to exercise. You know how it is. Sounds like you, my friend, could benefit from a little sunshine. You know, like the sunstone and the chrono trigger. creepy in here again. They look like redeads. That heartbeat though. Maybe we should turn around. You sure? That's fine. I was looking out the window the other day and you know what I saw? What'd you see, Mom? A skunk! He was looking right at me. Good thing there was glass in between us. <laughs> wow. Oh, there's lots of water here. Need to go in there. Probably don't want to. Hmm. Let's go up the other side here. Mom, there's so many of them. I'm kind of scared. It's okay, sweetie. Hold my hand and stay close to me. I'll lead us through here. Whoa. You got superpowers, Ma. You just walked right through that one. I knew you could do it. Oh, here's another friendly foot. The dark makes me sad. Treasure chest. 10G. 
It's so dark in here. I don't like the dark one bit. Neither do I. Mom says there's nothing to be afraid of, but I still don't like it. Finally, someone who understands me. These mushrooms don't get it at all. They're like, sunlight? Who needs that? Only crazy feet like the sun. Well, call me crazy, but I do like the sun. Unfortunately, I took the wrong turn and wound up in the very darkest part of this cave. Can you help me get some sun? Let's see this mushroom over here, Shimeji. I don't know what that fort is talking about. The dark is great. Ooh, well. So let's make sure we look all around. Oh, might as well keep going. Oh, that's the heater. Forgot to close my door. Oh, hey, hey, we're up here. Yeah, break that floor! How about you break it? Hey, kid, did you come to listen to our guild practice? Oh, you haven't heard of us. We meet here every week to jam. We call ourselves... Nice. No holds barred. No holds barred! With exactly three exclamation, exclamation points at the end. Heck yeah! Get it? Because we don't hold back, we don't follow the rules. We spell a B-A-R-D, not B-A-R-R-E-D. Because we're literally bards. That is clever. Lady, I like your style. So, like, down here, we can be ourselves. Take Craig, for example. Yo. Out in the real world, he's gonna wear a suit and tie and work for the man. But down here, he shreds on the electric loot. Riding on cars. And then there's little buds. So, homies. He spends his day serving tea to a bunch of snobby buds in the sky. I'm all like, more sugar, sir. Can I offer you a scone? Only suckers eat scones. that. Gotta channel the negative energy into the music. Gotta do what you gotta do. So look how saying we down here we just be ourselves and jam. So if you need a space to just chill out, feel free to kick it with us. Hmm. What's up, homies? Stay strong and don't let ever, don't ever let anyone tell you that you aren't good enough. Wait, the ground is changing. Ah. It looks like maybe we got some sun into the room below us now. Let me see something here. Be worth a shot. Yeah, look at that. I'm so happy. Blah, how can you stand all this light? Light makes me grow, doesn't it make you grow? No, of course not! Haven't you played Plants vs. Zombies? If not life, then what do you eat? Sunshroom light. 
Né? Agora right, this is no remix of the... the song. <laughs> 